Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about Transcodium ICO. Um, so this is about uh, creating a decentralized peer-to-peer media editing, transcoding and distribution platform. So I'll set some context here. Uh, so we all uh, go and uh, watch videos on YouTube. Uh, we've seen that uh, in the last five years, uh, the entertainment industry has shifted from TV to uh, YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. Uh, which means the viewing and uh, uh, interest of people in video has increased a lot. And uh, an estimate says that by 2019, internet video traffic will account for 80% of all consumer internet traffic. So non-video traffic would only be 20% of the overall internet traffic. Now, uh, whenever uh, we watch a video on uh, YouTube, uh, it goes through two phases. One of one phase is uh, creation of the video, which is done by individuals and companies. And the second stage is, stage is uh, pros- processing of that video, which is done by transcoding. So transcoding is the process which uh, converts the videos into formats which are suitable f- for uh, different uh, kind of devices. So uh, when YouTube uploads uh, a user's video, it first uh, gets it converted uh, or uh, transcoded with the help of a transcoding company. So Transcodium is uh, founded by uh, a team which uh, has already worked on this concept earlier and they had a company called MediaNap uh, which started in 2015 uh, but could not survive because of uh, heavy competition and uh, so they the, the drawback uh, was then that they were not uh, including uh, blockchain as a technology uh, in their concept and they have tried to redesign everything and incorporate blockchain into the technology now and design a solution uh, uh, which can help solve problem for a lower cost. So the ICO is already very popular and uh, there's a tweet, tweet from uh, John McAfee uh, who has tweeted on 9th of January that my personal investment of the week is transcodium.com. Giants own the video uh, streaming world with no room for small players. Transcodium, a solution for the cost of creating streaming networks, is the first IC opportunity investors to participate in this arena. So it's one of its kind. Uh, It's a unique uh, uh, streaming network and uh, it's a great opportunity uh, from investor for investor to participate in this arena is what John McAfee thinks. Uh, so that's a very strong opinion coming from uh, an expert like John McAfee. So while you're making uh, a decision on whether to invest in this ICO, you may or may not include his opinion. So that's up to you if you want to hear him out or if you want to leave him out, that's up to you. Now, I'll try to explain to you what are the existing problems with uh, cloud transcoding. So, the currently all the services that are being used by um, the likes of YouTube and Netflix uh, are very time consuming because they have very limited resources. Okay, because uh, so they, they since they their prime purpose is to make profits and do their own business, uh, they have limited resources while the demand of uh, video transcoding is increasing on a day-to-day basis and it is growing uh, at a rate of uh, 12 to 15 percent uh, CAGR in the last uh, two three years and it's uh, expected that it will continue grow to grow at the same or a higher rate and the resources which are with the existing transcoding companies have not been able to match uh, the increase in the amount of streaming which is required to be done so that is the biggest challenge and I think uh, that is where blockchain comes into play as it will utilize uh, so I'll explain to you later as to how it is going to do it in a decentralized way but anyone who is familiar with the concept of blockchain would by now have understood that uh, it has got something to do with usage of decentralized GPU power decentralized processing power from the system mobiles and laptops which are sitting idle so that's what 
blockchain as a technology has been doing eff effectively and that's how blockchain has been solving a lot of problems the second uh, problem that is being faced is uh, it is very expensive and therefore uh, companies like startup and low budget firms have not gotten into it uh, so it by very expensive it means that uh, it requires a lot of processing power to start a transcoding company and uh, therefore the capital requirement is huge and uh, due to stiff competition the margins are low so startups and uh, small companies or companies who don't have an initial seed capital which is huge uh, have not been able to get into this market uh, and the third problem which is also a, a major one is that these services are unreliable because whenever the load or the streaming services requirement increases there are server outages which can cancel the whole process and which delays uh, the uploading of video which delays the you know which makes the whole process slow so these are the major problems which are uh, faced with cloud transcoding which are used currently now how is uh, Transcodium trying to solve these problems is highlighted here. So I think the first problem to solve the first problem which is of uh, limited resources is being solved by use of blockchain and decentralized technology model which enables the provision of a cheaper and reliable alternative to cloud transcoding. So processing will not be done through cloud now with in fact but but instead be done uh, with the help of idle processing power which is uh, lying around in rest of the world. So that is a very uh, that would be very effective usage of uh, the idle power and uh, since this is idle power not uh, being utilized it will be available for a lower cost. We will try to understand as to how the cost of this idle power will be uh, idle processing power be lower. Um, the second problem uh, of very expensive is solved again with the help of uh, usage of uh, uh, the uh, different idle power and the idle power is not as costly as uh, you know the cost of setting up a whole setup uh, dedicated to transcoding so what happens here is due to the unlimited processing power uh, so all thanks to the workers the workers are idle system so as an individual anybody can dedicate his system uh, to transcoding and the transcoding power will be used with the help of a centralized node which we'll discuss later but uh, so that's how the concept is going to work that transcodium as a company is going to manage the central nodes and will outsource the, the job of transcoding to different workers who are sitting in different parts of the world these workers will uh, then do the transcoding process uh, and send it back to the centralized node which will uh, put the transcoded uh, formats onto the systems on the internet. So this will eliminate long queues and waiting time because this is being done in a decentralized way and this uh, has unlimited power, right? So it depends on the network of the workers and that's what the company intends to do to bring, build a strong network of workers who are going to solve the problem of transcoding. So, now, a single transcoding request will be processed by multiple nodes and workers. So, the outage of one node of worker will have no effect on the process, making it more efficient and time saving. Another uh, reliability feature which uh, the blockchain technology is going to bring in. Then, transcoding will not be limited to audio and video, but also other formats such as images and documents. So, until now, most of the transcoding happens for audio and videos only, but uh, transcodium would uh, make an attempt to do it to images and documents as well. So this is how the how the whole ecosystem is going to work. So there is going to be Transcodium at the center um, who is going to take uh, an order or, or who is going to take a Transcoding request from different sources uh, or the different videos which are uh, created would go to Transcodium. Transcodium would then uh, split them into workers so worker 1 2 3 4 as shown in the figure it could be uh, as small as a mobile phone and you know it could be different laptops and uh, so different workers would work across the world to do to process the transcoding and they would send it back to transcoding which would then export it to one of the sources any of the social media sources like google drive twitter facebook or youtube so it will act as a mediator between the job of transcoding and the customer 
who's asking for a transcoding request so the customer would be called as an initiator and uh, the person or the node which is uh, responsible for doing the transcoding task would be called as a worker and uh, the worker will be helped with the help of uh, so there will be separate apis uh, built for workers uh, to help them uh, execute the process of transcoding and uh, so the three three problems would be solved and uh, transcoding so transcodium would make an attempt to uh, make the system more reliable grow its uh, network of workers so that it can uh, process as much as possible uh, in terms of uh, the video and image or any kind of file format requirement which are uh, required to get transported so this is how, how uh, the whole network works uh, so it is going to be done with the help of an app so these are the features of the app uh, there will be a mobile uh, wallet plus a miner so every uh, person or every individual who would uh, want to dedicate a worker would require to install the miner uh, the app which will have the miner built in uh, there will be end to end encryption so security will be maintained with the help of blockchain again uh, built in exchange in apps so there will be an exchange on the app which will facilitate the transfer of uh, tokens etc uh, TNS tokens will be sent to miners so every uh, job will be executed with the help of TNS tokens uh, the transcoding will be ultra fast given the uh, additional power due to the uh, idle uh, resources available and uh, the console API and visual editing studio will also be available to help workers and uh, make the uh, job of transcoding more simple now I'll talk about the details of the ICO so the total supply is close to 120 million so this is the final number of tokens which are going to exist uh, no further tokens will be created or destroyed um, distribution with the DAL uh, with, uh, will be done in the following ways 72% uh, of the tokens are going to be sold uh, during the ICO and pre ICO 4% uh, of the uh, token distribution uh, will be uh, you know assisting token sale with the help of bonuses and discounts 4% will be held by advisors and partners there is 1% uh, dedicated to Bounty who are going to help in uh, spreading awareness about the concept and um, generate more sales uh, in, during the ICO process with the help of meaningful uh, content etc. Uh, team members are going to keep 10% of the share and uh, marketing funding of trial accounts and customers and platform testers etc. would have 9% of the total tokens uh, the fund which is generated the hard cap for uh, the whole so the soft cap has already been met for your information so the soft cap of uh, 500,000 USD has already been met and the hard cap of 300 million dollars is uh, far away but the IPO has just started so I'm very hopeful because the soft cap was met just in a few days uh, now these funds are going to be used for project development 50% of the funds are going to be dedicated to project development which is already started this status of the project development can be checked uh, on the website of Transcodium. Uh, expansion to different markets uh, 3% so they might, uh, the team might want to, want to reach out to different countries and spread its market uh, marketing and brand awareness will take 20% uh, operational expenses another 15 legal and insurance 10 and rest of uh, the budget of 2% is going to miscellaneous expenses uh, so this is about the token distribution fund allocation the I pre ICO is already in process it is going to stay till 20th of February and already this soft cap has been met there is a 30% discount on offer so if you are interested in the ICO this is the right time to go for it right so you can rent your idle machine for file editing transcoding and distribution that is once the uh, process starts uh, you can go to the website to go through the legal documents the white paper or do you understand the business model as on 19 january when this video is being created the soft cap has already been reached and during the pre-sale 55 percent of the uh, tokens have already been sold out of the 5710 thousand tokens which are available for sale so right now the discount on 
the pre-ICO is 30%. So you can go to the website and try to buy the tokens if you're really interested in this because this is the right time. The 30% off could be very beneficial and would provide you a good hedge against any uh, initial fluctuations once the ICO is getting listed. Uh, to know more about uh, this uh, ICO, you can go to the website. Uh, as listed here, you can also visit their white paper uh, on the link here uh, in case you want to know the technical details of what exactly they are trying to do. Uh, we're also listing the con various contacts and resources which are available. So I think that's about it. Uh, the ICO is very interesting to me, uh, but you have to take your own, uh, you have to make your own opinion based on your judgment. The industry is big. Uh, John McAfee thinks that it's a good ICO, but uh, ultimately it's your decision to whether to invest or not. Uh, my job uh, was to inform you about the pros and cons of the ICO, and which I hope I have done to the best of my capability. So that's all from my side. Thank you.